Hello and welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. I'm happy you are joining me once again. Um, before I get started, if you have any requests that you would like me to do to paint, um, let me know. Shoot me an email, um, contact me on social media, uh, comment on the blog post, and let me know what type of painting that you would like me to attempt to share with you. Um, I have quite a few varieties of stamps. So, um, yeah, let me know. I'd love to try to paint something that you uh, want to see. All right. So, anyways, today we are going to do this fun little barn with the trees sitting kind of in a field. Um, we only use four stamps for this. Um, it looks like it will be hard, but it's not going to be that bad. I promise you. So, um we are going to do it on a four by four piece of paper today and the stamps that we will need are uh, the mini truck set we're going to use the barn from that set uh, the original foliage set the mini grasses you know we use it in practically everything uh, the mini flower set we're going to use the little tiny dots and then in the tree set one, we are going to use the center um, bigger tree, fuller tree, but you can use either one of those pine trees as well, whatever you'd like to do. And then for our colors today, we will be using number 17 steel blue, um, number 15 olive green, number 86 African violet, number 45 sepia number 72 pine green and number 94 scarlet all right are we ready let's do it so this one again we will be inking in two colors we're going to start with the african violet followed by the sepia so again, I use Marvy markers. You can use Tombos or any other type of kind of water-based marker that you have. They will work as well. All right, so now followed by sepia on top. So for our barn, we are going to kind of go <clears throat> center of the page, but above center. Hope that makes sense. Because we want it kind of tucked back in the top background of the photo. Okay. I think my barn's slightly crooked and I got a little too much ink right there. But we can fix that. See, even I still make mistakes. <laughs> But anyway, so we're going to draw the colors out of the line. So where would it be the darkest? Underneath the roof lines, it would have a shadow. Pull that down. Pull it down through here. And then we'll kind of drag some out of the roof. Make it darker down here. The highlight would be like on top of the roof. This is the e, like an overhang, so it's going to be dark under there. This one will be dark. And then inside of our doorways and windows are going to be dark. So this one, um, we're going to have it where the sun is shining kind of on the front of the building. So we will actually pull off and kind of drag more ink in this little section of the barn is going to be dark since the sun's not directly on it there. So on your palette, we're going to um, put some sepia and also some African Violet, and we are going to paint 
the roof first. So we're going to mix the sepia and African violet together to kind of make a darker gray hue. Um, the more sepia you use, the browner it will look when it dries. And then obviously like the more African violet that you use, it will kind of have more of a, a bluish hue, blue purpley hue. Um, paint our under here, kind of paint, and then we're going to just kind of touch in all the windows again. We're going to want the windows and doors to be pretty dark, so we're just going to keep going over them. And now I'm just going to take straight sepia and kind of add more color to the barn here. One good thing about watercolor is if you, so like right here, I wanted the brown to be on the building, but it was just a little too dark and too harsh of a line. So I just dipped my paint in water um, to rinse it and then pinched it off and that's how I kind of just spread um, the color around. Like I didn't want it to be so dark. So I'm even gonna kind of do the same over here because I don't want that little building to be quite so dark. That little attachment, and then even right here. So I just kind of put my brush in the water, and that way then I'm still spreading the color. Um, just making it also lighter. But you can still see the shadow. <clears throat> so I'm going to add a little bit of sepia hinder here. under the roof and then we'll add just sepia to the roof itself to kind of make it more brown sorry I got distracted there for a second Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to take just the African Violet and paint like into the windows and doors. I want to make the doors, since they're so, you know, larger, and show like there's light shining in, so I'm going to be dark in this corner and kind of lighten it as I progress downwards. And that way it looks like the sun's kind of shining into the barn and you see like the lighter areas. So after I let that dry for a moment, I'm just gonna go right back over it. So I want all these to be pretty dark. underneath this, this part of the barn roof again. So it'll be really dark under there. And a little bit more under this side. Okay. So I'm going to stop there for now. I'm going to let those doors dry. So now what I'm going to do is take the thin end of my marker, my, my sepia, and I'm going to just kind of darken the roof lines a little bit here. Go over the building. There's kind of like a little spot in that door frame. And then I'm also, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to make it look more barn-like. So I'm just going to lightly touch 
not even going to make them solid lines. And if you're nervous, do this in a pencil. You don't have to do this in the marker. Um, but I like adding, you know, the lines that you see of like the wood that put the barn together. So I'm going to go across all the fronts of the barn here. And as you can see, I don't make them, I don't make them solid lines. I leave like little dash marks almost. So let's go add it to this little side. Okay. So I'm also going to use the small section of my uh, African violet. Kind of do the same thing. And then I'm just going to touch like inside the windows. Going to go over the lines of the brown that I. Did. We're going to color that part of the roof in to make it even darker. Make that roof darker. And then I'm going to kind of just like, not completely color, but touch around in the opening to even get it even darker right there. And then I'm going to make sure I don't have a lot of water at all on my brush and just kind of touch it. And that way it just softens and spreads that water. Okay. So we are going to stop there for our barn. You can always go back if you want to make your roof darker or, um, more brown or whatever you can always go back later so at this point i'm going to mask off the barn which is we're going to add our trees and we want them to kind of be tucked behind it like the barn is tucked inside so i use this um when i did my like sample painting so i kind of i kept it so i can reuse it this is from this is post-it masking tape you can use post-it notes um whatever you want to do so I masked off the entire barn and now I'm going to take my trees and um, the number 72 pine green. I'm going to color the whole thing in here and then just stamp wherever you want trees. Make some taller, make some shorter, um, however you want to do it. Make only a couple make a whole bunch you know it's up to you we're gonna make this barn look like it's sitting back in the woods on a in the open field we'll put one down this way maybe give a little peek of like one popping up over the top of the barn right there okay I will leave it at that. And so now I'm going to peel back my paper. And one thing about using the post-it paper, sometimes it like prevents your stamp from going actually onto the paper. So I'm just going to take the thin end of my marker and just like lightly kind of scribble where the rest of that tree should be. I'm even just going to do it on the ones that are light. Um, okay. And now we'll soften it with water. So when you're softening it with water, just be careful that you don't get it um, onto the roof in the barn itself. So if you're uncomfortable, you could always at this, that point put your masking tape back over it if you're nervous that you'll touch the barn and kind of spread the two colors. Um, you know, do just do you. Make do what makes you comfortable. So just dab around. We're not doing actual brush strokes. We're just dabbing. Start, 
if you don't want to do a pine tree and you only have um, a regular tree or branches, just do that. Don't have any trees at all. Um, use some leaves and make bushes around your um, around your barn. Like just use whatever stamps that you have to help you create the painting that you want to create. Okay. So there is the barn. And now we are going to um don't be nervous about this. We're gonna freehand the little driveway that goes to the barn. You can do it. Have faith in yourself. So we're just gonna do sepia, make make it really watered down, start real light. You know, perspective will be that it's skinnier in the back. As it comes forward, it will get a little larger. You don't have to add this if you're totally uncomfortable. You are fine. Um, let me get some more water and paint here. So, again, as it comes forward, it will get. wider and if you want you can always add like almost like a little path to the from that door over but we're gonna put some um we're gonna put some grasses and stuff back there Once that's dry, you know, you can just kind of come over it and do some like light brush strokes, whatever you want to do. Um, but for now, we will come back to that one. So, we are going to move to our little tiny grasses. Uh, we will ink it in olive green, just like normal ink it or stamp it a couple times before you uh, reapply the ink so this is kind of now like super long grasses or you know, no one's no one's mowed in a while by this uh, barn I'm just gonna do a little bit by that tree not much and then I'm gonna put some kind of like right here at like the end of the driveway trail. Um, again, add as much or as little. I'm just going to kind of dab a little bit. Kind of back here. Okay. And now we will add water to those. Okay, and our last stamp are these little tiny dots, and then we're going to use the 94 Scarlet. Um, you don't have to ink the whole thing, you can, 
And I just kind of want to make it almost now look like these are little bushes. Um, so I just want like some bright color blooms. And then I'm just going to add a little touch back here because maybe it's like a little wildflower that's growing. A little bit by that tree. Okay. And then we'll add water to this one as well. Just dab it to spread the color. Pink is pretty saturated, so it will definitely um, spread easily, but it's a very pretty pink once it's dried. Okay. So, now that all that's done, I'm going to come back just a little bit here, um, oh, that was too much, and just kind of add, you know, some, some lines. I'm going to make the driveway darker in the back, back here, since it's farther away. So, I'm going to take a little bit of my African Violet and kind of add to it, and then you can just kind of drag that color throughout. Okay, and then we're going to take more of the olive um, green, and then we're just going to kind of paint around here to add the grass. Um, you don't even have to paint the grass, because obviously you can tell. Like, there's going to be grass in front of this barn. But I just like to, I like to fill in the gap. Um, but make sure you leave a frame around of like a makes like a little mat when you put it in a frame um, try not to get too close to your trees and 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 your pink flowers because we don't suddenly want that pink spreading all over the place but And lastly, kind of lastly, I guess, we're going to do our 17 steel blue. We're going to add in our sky. Oh, that went dark. The same thing like I did in the barn. That was way too dark accidentally. Didn't have, an, took too much water off my brush. Um, so just, just add some water. And you can lighten it up. Easy peasy. Carefully come down kind of between your trees. Okay, so sorry, my video just cut out. So, finish your sky. And then, um, sign and date it. And there you have it. It's a fun little four by four painting. You can throw it in a frame or make it to um, make it into a card to give away to a friend or a family member. And and you just have need um, four stamps and a little bit of time. So again, if you have any suggestions of paintings that you would like me to see, uh, um, see if I can do, um, you know, send me a message and I'll and I'll attempt to do what I can for you. I want to make. Um, Paintings that you also want to learn how to do, not just just whatever that I think would be a good idea. So, um, have an awesome Wednesday, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye!